Um, I know that after you saw the elite women off, you were able to go the length of the course in one of the lead vehicles. So far, what are you hearing from the course with respect to what runners need and how they're doing? Uh, the course was, was, it was great. I thought there would be less people out there because of the conditions. But again, as you know, the conditions improved, improved, improved. And it, the crowds were as thick as they've always been. And everything was set up where it was supposed to be set up. So every, everything was going great out on the course. I'm a little bit concerned about now the temperature rising. It's probably in the 60s now and a lot of these people aren't acclimated to that kind of heat and so hopefully every everybody will be okay are there extra medical facilities this year i know that initially when we thought it was cold there were all kinds of plans to bring in extra buses and warming and that and we don't need that now um but there's no question, particularly after last year, when I think we had something like 2,500 people in medical tents as of 4.30, mm -hmm. um, that we've, we've got the facilities we need on this course to treat somebody. Yeah, I mean, we have the greatest medical staff on the planet. I mean, 1,800 medical personnel. We have a major medical tent A, another medical tent B. We have 26 Red Cross stations along the course. So we really think we can handle what comes our way. We're just hopeful that we don't have to have, we, we don't see that much business. Um, the idea is to prevent it, not to, you know, re respond to it. So hopefully people take personal responsibility and see that it's a little warm now and, and hold back on their pace and just bring it in and know that it's maybe not a PR day. Right. Hydrate accordingly. You're about to embark on your 47th run into Boston, your 47th Boston Marathon. You go out in the afternoon after the bulk of the runners have come in. Um, but this year is special for you because you are running for the Joseph Middlemiss Big Heart Foundation. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit. I, we, we did that really wonderful yeah, story where great. we got to be with you and young Jack Middlemiss. But, you know, you, you have a personal story and a personal connection to heart health now and in trying to get the word out. Well, I, I met the family uh, through uh, Kate Middlemiss was my son's teacher. And then we started helping them with their road race in honor of, of uh, Joseph. And then I got really attached to their son Jack who had a heart transplant and then all of a sudden I'm diagnosed with severe coronary artery disease and eventually had to have open heart triple bypass surgery six months ago so now there's even a, a closer relationship and affinity with our families and with me with Jack and we call each other heart warriors and so yeah I'm dedicating this year's run to their foundation and to raise money to to you know bring awareness to the condition and and basically my whole mission right now is just to let people know that if you um, you know just because you're fit doesn't mean you're healthy and if you feel something do something act on it and I feel like I did and now I'm getting a second chance.